Hey guys, it's Mike from 40 Plus Fitness and today we're going to do another video about Tough Mudder. As you know, we've pro you've probably seen we've got a ton of videos about Tough Mudder. It's a very, uh, something that's near and dear to our heart and, and hopefully you found those other videos helpful. We've given you some other videos about what we consider to be our most difficult obstacles or challenging obstacles or fun obstacles at Tough Mudder, but now I wanted to do a video since Tough Mudder has updated their website, which what they consider to be their most popular videos. Now, I'm not associated with Tough Mudder, don't work for them, I'm just, I'm just a regular uh, Tough Mudder participant just like you. I certainly enjoy the sport and I wanted to kind of give you my opinion and let's see if what they match. And always love to get your comments and opinions. Please share them in the comment section. We're right on the Tough Mudder website right now and let's review what they think is their most difficult obstacles. Starting in the top corner over here you can see Arctic Enema. This used to be called Chernobyl Jacuzzi and you know it, it is very challenging in the sense that it doesn't take a long time to do but by golly when you get in that ice cold water for the first time just like this uh, Joe Schmo right here. Uh, that's probably what I look like too because you really get your breath taken away. I've got friends, we've done multiple Tough Mudders and some of my guys, they don't want to do this one again because it, it, it really just knocks you out practically but I actually like it because I think it just makes you feel uh, just alive and energized so that's the Arctic Enema. In the middle is Berlin Walls and I would say that is a that is a difficult one. They usually have two sets of Berlin Walls, the 8 foot walls and I believe the 12 or 14 foot walls sometimes and usually the higher walls are obviously are more difficult so a lot of times uh, if you can't jump up on your own you know you'll need a partner to help you out but this is where your training ahead of time will come into play. If you've done good upper body work then you should have no problem on the Berlin Walls, but it certainly is a challenge. Next is the boa constrictor over here, and that actually is, it can be quite challenging in the sense that what you have is a series of tunnels, and you can see right here, these people, these are, you go down through an incline to get into some ice cold water, you can't get up because they're barbed wire, and then you're going to go up the tunnels to get back out, and it's the up tunnel that I find to be quite challenging. Some people get freaked out on the down tunnel because you are going into a real small space, you're going into a real small space, and you also are going into water, and there's someone in front of you and someone behind you so that can kind of freak you out but it's the upwards climb that you usually are doing on your elbows or on your hands and there's not a lot of room and it's really quite slippery so that can be kind of challenging so I would agree boa constrictor is a, is a good one. Cliffhanger down here I've never found this one to be quite difficult I've ever heard, I've heard some people say that it is I guess it just kind of depends on the location and how high they make the hill but I have been able to just run right up and so have my friends as well too so we're not necessarily special or anything just pretty much run right up the hill and I haven't found it to be too difficult just yet. Dirty Ballerina I've never been at a location that's had Dirty Ballerina. I'd love to do it. Essentially what it is is it's a series of mud pits separated by four feet of water and as the as the day goes on obviously from people that have run the course it gets more and more eroded so a lot of times you're falling in to the water in the middle and you've got to kind of struggle to get out so that one can be kind of difficult. I love the opportunity to do it just haven't seen it yet. Electric Eel is also a new one down here and this one uh, you also have been called shock on the rocks as well too. Also quite difficult. Think of a combination of arctic enema plus, um, what else would you say? Arctic enema, oh, plus uh, the electroshock therapy because what it is is you're crawling on your, your, your basically down low through ice cold water, but if you can see right here, there are little shock uh, therapy things that are hanging down. So. You know, if you get too low, it's really it's cold. You can't raise up because there's barbed wire and electrocuted wires, and you can't go very fast because it's just a slow process. So that's one I would say is probably the most difficult of all right now. Um, so let's go down and see what else we've got here. Uh, look, there's the next one, electroshock therapy, uh, which again, uh, I don't necessarily think it's a difficult one because you can run through it pretty fast. And a couple times I've done it, I haven't necessarily got shocked too bad. But a couple of friends of mine have gotten shocked to the point there, especially like if you have some feelings, I guess you really will feel it right there. So that's kind of an interesting one. Everest I love. It's probably my favorite one of all. It's kind of like the half pipe from, American nin or from a Ninja Warrior, although not quite as difficult as that. Um, and if you run fast, the secret to this one, Everest, is if you can run fast enough, you can run right up the sides without necessarily needing anybody to help you. But most people will need some sort of help because it gets pretty slippery as the day goes on. So you'll be running up the side and you can grab hold and then someone usually will be able to pull you up. And that's kind of the teamwork concept. Firewalker, I don't know why this is on the list. I do not agree that it's one of the most difficult ones. I think it's actually one of the easiest ones and, and I wish they would make it harder. But what can you really do for safety purposes? Essentially, there's some fire on the sides or maybe they have some low fire that you have to go over, but you just walk or run right through this. It's not any problem at all. The, the difficult thing is really just the smoke if you're downwind. So.
Down in the corner here, Funky Monkey. Uh, I love this one as well, too. It is a very difficult one with a high failure rate uh, for a couple of reasons. One, you do need good upper body strength, and you also need to get some momentum as well, too. You need to make sure you have the right technique that's going to work for you. Some people try to go one arm per bar. I choose to go two two hands per bar so I can make sure I get a good grip because the bars get very slippery as the day goes on and, and even if you're wearing gloves it can still be very slippery I try to actually grab um, you gotta kinda look at the bars and see where the most mud is at and try to focus your hands around that I use the two hand technique because it gives me a better grip before I move on but it does require a lot of upper body strength to be able to you have to stay on it longer to do it that way um, and, it, and you have to obviously hold yourself up for during that period of time so this is one we want to prepare ahead of time certainly with pull-ups and 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 uh, various arm exercises to help you the next one is hanging tough and I have to admit I haven't been able to do that one yet I haven't been to a location that has it yet it would be similar to funky monkey except I think even more challenging because the rings are moving if you remember the old show uh, American Gladiator uh, great show from the 80s and they brought it back briefly in the early 2000s those rings start moving it requires a lot of upper body strength and also coordination to be able to grab onto them so I'm looking forward to be able to do that one if you've done it I'd love to know about it hold your wood is actually pretty easy there's two different versions this is the teamwork version that they're showing right here I've also done the ones where it's just an individual log and you're just carrying it around I think the teamwork one is harder because the log is heavier and depending on your team you know you may have to hold more of the weight but really it's not very difficult also seen it with sandbags as well too uh, let's see what else we've got here and then the final ones here, Mud Mile is very similar to an obstacle called the Trenches. This is one of the most fun obstacles of all. Um, it is absolutely insane with all the different um, ways that you can get stuck in the mud. You really have to make sure your shoes are tied on tight. You have to make sure you point your toes. Uh, otherwise, uh, you're going to probably lose a shoe in the mud and it would be very difficult to actually find it. Um, and if you, depending on the locations, like down in Florida where I'm at, there's a lot more water down here and you really start to, uh, you can't see the holes that are that are dug in the water. And so you're walking along and you'll just fall in and there's no way you can avoid it. So it really makes it fun, especially if there's a big group of people all around at once. Everybody's laughing and having a great time and falling on each other. So it's a lot, very fun. Turd's nest actually is really not that difficult. Um, you know, you climbing up the side uh, of a cargo net and then in the middle is a giant cargo net that is suspended and you just kind of have to, you can roll across that or use various techniques to get across it and then climb back down. Really nothing to it. Twinkle Toes, I have to admit, is my nemesis. I have not been able to conquer the dang thing yet. I really need to work on my balance. I've, I've gotten more than halfway and I just keep falling off the dang thing. So uh, multiple different techniques for that. I'm sure you can look on internet, on YouTube and find them. You don't want to listen to me because I haven't been able to solve it yet. But uh, that is a fun one and I will say one of the most difficult ones. Walk the plank is not really very hard. You just jump off of it and into the water. Um, and this one is associated with a swim as well too, which would actually add to the a uh, little bit to the difficulty. But I guess it would make it difficult if you are afraid of heights or uh, you know you want to try to do a black backflip like this gentleman here is doing. But it's really not that difficult of a one. You know I would say that uh, in terms of the truly the most badass obstacles. Well I have to say Twinkle Toes because I haven't solved it yet. And then I would say uh, Funky Monkey certainly. A lot of people say Everest, but I would probably vote for Electric Eel or Shock on the Rocks as the most difficult one of all. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about that as well too. Hopefully you find this video fun and interesting and if you're a Tough Mudder fan we appreciate I appreciate you watching and I hope to see you at uh, one of the Tough Mudders coming up here. Thanks and God bless you. Bye-bye.